Hi there, and thanks for checking out this video. I'm John Krim from Tennis Companion, and today I'm gonna to share how to pick the perfect size grip for your tennis racket. When buying a new tennis racket, one of the decisions you'll have to make after you've settled on a specific model is which grip size you're going to use. A grip that's too small may have a tendency to twist or rotate when striking the ball, which can lead to painful blisters and unnecessary strain on your arm as you overcompensate to grip the racket firm. On the other hand, a grip that's too large can make changing grips quickly during a point cumbersome and frustrating. With that said, finding the right grip size is entirely a personal preference, with no right or wrong answers. And I always encourage players to demo a few different grip sizes before making a purchase if possible. However, there are a few quick and easy methods you can use as a jumping off point, which we'll cover in this video. Grip sizes are measured as the circumference or the distance around the racket's handle and range from four inches to four and three quarters inches. Within that range, there are seven different available sizes, starting at four inches for a size zero and increasing by one eighth of an inch all the way up to four and three quarters inches for a size six. If you have a racket on hand, you can find out the size of the handle by looking at the butt cap where it's usually printed. Here's a chart of what those sizes look like. There are two common methods used to help players identify their ideal grip size. In the first method, you'll measure the distance from the tip of your ring finger to the large crease that runs side to side in the palm of your hand. As a right-handed player, I'll measure that hand to demonstrate. First, I'll find the major lateral crease in my hand. Next, I'll grab my ruler and measure from the crease to the top of my ring finger. In my case, it measures just about four and three eighths inches or a size three grip. This method works particularly well if you're buying a racket online and don't have access to try out different sizes in person. The second method requires you to hold a few different size racket handles and reference the gap between your fingers and your palm. First, grip a racket handle with your dominant hand. Next, place your index finger within the gap between your fingers and your palm. If it fits comfortably, you're likely in the right ballpark for the ideal size grip. At this stage, I wanna reiterate that these two methods are intended to help point players in the right direction for finding their ideal grip size. However, the right size ultimately boils down to personal preference. So if possible, I'd encourage you to demo multiple size grips before making a decision. Also, it's worth keeping in mind that it's easier to increase the size of your grip than it is to decrease it. For example, the simple addition of an overgrip will increase the size of your handle by 1 16th of an inch for a half size increase while the addition of a heat shrink sleeve, which can also be applied to a racket's handle, will increase the size by 1 8 of an inch for a full size increase. So if you're on the fence, I'd encourage you to go with the smaller size, which you can always build up later. On a separate but related note, I'm often asked what the ideal grip size is for a child. However, instead of finding the right grip size, you'll want to focus on the racket length, which generally corresponds with the height of your child. The following chart outlines what those sizes look like. Grip sizes for children are typically four inches or less, but if you get the right length racket, the grip size should work itself out too. If you'd like to learn more about finding the right size children's tennis racket, be sure to check the links in the description. Hopefully you're feeling well equipped to find the perfect size grip for your tennis racket. If you'd like some extra detail on this topic, don't forget to check out my article. I'll be sure to drop a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And if you'd like to join me for future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.